Hey everybody, this is Theo over at Specialized Subaru Parts and today we're working on a 2010 Forester and what we're going to be doing today is uh, replacing the motor mounts on both sides, the left and the right. You have to disconnect the uh, O2 sensors. There's this gray plug right here that needs to be disconnected and then this black one. Uh, get those two done first. Uh, the reason being is because we're going to be dropping the uh, cap below and lifting up the motor and these are just going to get in the way and just makes it a lot easier. So we'll disconnect those. Um, there's two locking tabs down here for each one of the wires uh, to a bracket. Um, I just use a, uh, a little door puller like this, get in the tab and just kind of twist it out. This one's giving me a little bit of a problem. Yep, I got it. Okay, so those are loose, completely loose. Next up we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lift up the car. So here are the two plugs that we disconnected from the top. O2 sensors are connected right here to this, this pretzel, pretzel cat. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to disconnect the uh, mid pipe from here. Uh, there's 14 millimeter nuts, three of them that are connected right here. Um, I'll go ahead and break those, get those loose, and then we're gonna go ahead and start to disconnect uh, from the heads. There's also three studs up here with 14 millimeter uh, nuts on there as well. I'll go ahead and break those on the left and, excuse me, the left and the right side. off. I'm just going to loosen these up right now. I'm not going to take these off completely yet. And there's three more over here. Oh, oh, that one is going to be a little bit tougher to get off. Right, the uh, shield, the heat shield is actually blocking my socket from going on to the, uh, to the nut. There, kind of bend the heat shield over a little bit. I just need enough room to get my socket on there. All right, so those are all broken loose. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, loosen the uh, bracket right here, disconnected to the transmission. It's a 14 millimeter nut or, as well. I'm gonna loosen that so I can actually drop this down when I start to pull the cat off so the uh, studs will lift out of it. All right, we're, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unbolt these uh, two uh, um, bolts right here, uh, the, mid mi the mid pipe connected to the exhaust pipe to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole pipe down. It's gonna give you a little bit more room. Um, it's, it's easier to get out of the way. Uh, the front nut is a 12 millimeter and the back is a 14. Be careful when you're doing this. Uh, this this bracket right here holds this pipe up, so don't disconnect this until you have these uh, taken off. Leave it up there so that way it holds it in place so it doesn't drop down and fall on you. I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a, a flathead screwdriver to get in here. Sometimes these uh, are really tight and you can't get it by your hand. So basically, what I just do is lift up on there, take the flathead, stick it right in the middle, just kind of push down and out. That walks it right out, and you can drop it down, and then slide this right off. So now this is out of your way, you got a little more room, you can just, just set this down. Um, I already broke all the, the nuts on here, I did that on purpose, so I knew ahead of time that I wasn't going to be fighting. Go ahead and finish these off. I usually leave one on each side, then... I'm going to go here, over here to the left side. Stuff keeps dropping down in my eyes. It's a good idea to wear safety goggles when you're working underneath the car. Protect your eyes. This is the last one for this side. Go ahead and we let that hang down. Go ahead and grab your gasket off. Now this is gonna get a little tricky. You kind of have to do this one-handed. I got it. No. You just hold it right here in the middle and then you loosen the other bolt. And then uh, lower your uh, gun down. And just uh, kind of wiggle it down and then there it is. 
Pretzel cat's out. Oh, I set this down. 